Happy Wednesday. My name is Teresa Kogut with Creative Whims and tonight for Witch Paint Wednesday, I want to finish this angel. I worked on her a long time ago and I feel like it is time to finish her up. So I'm going to work on this angel and then I don't have a lot to do on her depending on how much I talk. <laughs> if I talk a lot, you know, then I might not get as much done. So, um, so I'm streaming on StreamYard. Okay. So StreamYard used to only work with a desktop. So their new feature is that you can use, oh, I don't have my phone plugged in. Um, the, <laughs> side note that you can use your mobile phone. Okay. I'm plugged in. Cool. All right. So Kristen is not with me tonight. So sad, but, um, she's home with her husband because he came home from the hospital today. So thank you, Jesus. <gasps> Colleen is here. Hello, Colleen. Um, so anyways, I'm flying solo tonight and hopefully, uh, next week, Kristen will be back with us. Hi, Daisy. Yay. So I'm streaming on StreamYard on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. We'll see how it goes. Um, so it's, everything's going to be backwards. I'm using my front facing camera because on StreamYard, I couldn't figure out how to use my regular camera. So everything's going to be backwards. I'm going to look like I'm painting left-handed. I think, I mean, maybe not, maybe StreamYard has it figured out. I don't know. Hi, Dawn. Welcome everyone. I'm going to start pushing things on the screen because there's this big banner from StreamYard. It's, it's just talking about the live viewer comments and I want to try to get rid of it. So I'm going to click on it. But I'm afraid I'm going to lose you guys or something. I don't know how to get rid of that banner. Um, Okay. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys see me? Hi, Whitney. Welcome everyone. A lot of CW livers are here tonight. <laughs> CW livers. I don't know. I don't think that's going to stick. I wonder if I hit that, if I can go, Oh, nope. I'm trying to increase the size of this video, like to fill up my whole screen. So StreamYard, this is, like I said, this is a new feature for them. So they don't have the kinks worked out. You made chili. Hold on, I gotta shrink it down a little bit. Dang it. You made chili on, what did you make? Chili, oh, ooh, in the crock pot. So you could be here. That's so sweet. Think I love that, you're thinking ahead. Welcome, Cindy. Uh-oh, you're probably going to dump us we will come back still here and see you yeah I'm just gonna leave that banner up it's no big deal hopefully you guys don't see it I don't think you guys would see it I'm gonna turn around and try to get it up on my laptop so that I can read comments while I'm painting if it doesn't work then I can just look here welcome Lynn chili con car carne 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 I don't know Cole made some steak. Nice. You know what I made tonight? Ah, oh, it was so good. I'm going to cook it until I perfect the recipe. I didn't, actually didn't have a recipe. I cooked um, chicken breast, just kind of pan fried it in butter and got it nice and crispy. Took it off the heat, added to the nice chicken juices in there. I added um, onion and mushroom and more butter. Got that all caramelized. And I had bacon cooking at the same time in the oven. So then when the bacon was done, I put the chicken, I put the chicken with um, Havarti, Havarti with dill. Next time I'm gonna use just Havarti, but I love Havarti cheese. So Havarti with dill over the chicken. And then I put the onions and mushrooms over that. And then I lay, layered bacon on top. Oh, it was delicious. 
but next time I'm going to slice the chicken breasts in half because they were too thick. Open them up and then add twice. I'm going to double my recipe for the topping. So every bite you'll have bacon, onion, mushroom. Oh, it was in cheese. It was delish. You guys all cooked good stuff tonight. I love it. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get you guys up on my laptop over here. You can see it here. Let's see. So, so my Wi-Fi mate came in today. And it doesn't work worth beans. So, I I called or I called. I got online cuz I've been looking at WeBoost. WeBoost is a cell booster. So, I was over $1,000, like $1124, but if it works, I'm I'm it's awesome. It's a one-time fee and they it'll be professionally installed. So they said once you get it, you call a number that and this, sometimes they can count the next day. Out here, I doubt it. That's probably like if you're in the city or something, you know, a bigger area. But anyways, um, hopefully within a you know few days or something, they can come out and install it, and that will boost my cell because I only have like two. I I flutter between two and three bars. I should have four bars easily so that should fix that problem and then once I have a better cell service maybe the Wi-Fi mate will work and all of my problems are gonna be solved I just I I really believe at this time you guys Cheryl's over at home trying to fix our wireless in the studio oh it, it's such a hassle when it doesn't work so Colleen are you at Nicole's or is she at your place and you're getting ready to go back home with her I'm just being nosy. Just curious. Okay. So you're not coming up on my laptop. And I'm only seeing Facebook comments. So I don't even know if I'm actually live on YouTube. Uh, I chose my YouTube channel that is my art one. I thought that made way more sense since I'm painting. So it's not my floss tube. So I don't know. I might go and see if I can find that. And then I'll get painting. I will. This is this is all about painting, honestly, guys. <laughs> it has to get better, right, Daisy? I agree. All right, what's the? Let's see what's going on at YouTube. Um. Well, my internet, my Wi-Fi is not working. Let me straighten this light out. Can you see the painting good? It looks like we have pretty good light. And normally, like when Kristen and I are together, we use StreamYard. And she said that my reception seems to be better through StreamYard. So that's why I thought, well, I'm going to try it. Let me know if it's if this um, if the video and audio is better tonight. I would love to know. It looks great on mine because I'm not like you know I'm just looking at what's being shown on my camera which is going to be great quality obviously but I'm wondering what you guys see so let me know all right I need to get some paints um oh I put crackle on the um the painting I was working on the last few weeks what's it called noble character so I came down here for dinner real quick and I did a little sanding and then I put the the gloss varnish down. So in about 30 to 40 minutes, I'm going to put um, the crackle on it. And hopefully by the end of the night, you'll be able to see how the crackle turned out. I'm so excited. I love the crackle part. That's my favorite part. All right, so I'm gonna get some paints. I'm, I gotta switch gears. I have all this color from that last painting. so. I need to create flesh tones, so I'm going to get some paints on my palette. I'm not seeing any more comments, so I don't know if there's just a bad connection or or maybe everyone's just watching and eating dinner. <laughs> Oh, I think I already had red. Oh, I got more red now. I don't think I need that. And then, of course,
course I need Titan Buff. Titan Buff is like my favorite paint. I use that color all the dang time. Ugh. I'm going to need to get some blues out too. So what did everybody do today? Did you have a good day? I got white already, so let's get some blue and some teals. Mmm, you just fixed a bowl sitting down to eat. That's awesome. Yeah, because Daisy, aren't you way out in Washington? Anna Cortez? No, I know I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't need green. Okay. Let me get going here. I'm actually going to start painting, guys. Oh, switch account. You know, my internet has been, my Wi-Fi down here at the studio has been awesome all day. And now it's acting up. I swear to you, it's because... Um, at night, more people are using their internet service. I swear that that has to be it. I don't even know what else it would be. Well, I don't have, oh, I know. I have turn these other lights on. Oh, I'll be fine. I don't need to. Maybe I'll just turn this light up. Because I'm having a hard time seeing. Yep, so you guys, it's like, five o'clock right right time for dinner <laughs> oh that's a bummer though wish i wish we were all on that i wish we didn't have different time zones and we were all on the same time but i appreciate you um planning your dinner around which paint wednesday that was that's so not nice So Kristen's hubby just got home today. Like they just got home a little while ago from the hospital. So he's doing really well. And um, so I don't know if she'll have time to jump on here with us at all. I really need light on this other side. Oh, that's right. Ryan took my light. That little rascally rabbit. Okay. Um, I'll do without. My heavens to Betsy. What color do we have here? Oh. So does anybody have any portraits? Fourth of July plans. I know most events and celebrations are canceled and such a weird, weird year. Oh my gosh. It's it's just who would have ever guessed this would happen. So weird. It's funny, I remember when I painted this angel originally and she was, her face was more straight on. <laughs> I don't know, I kept working her and working her and she has such a different look than what the original sketch was supposed to be. But I think that's kind of cool. So I've had a, an amazing week. Um, I, I pulled the linen and floss and sent off um, Tilly and Wilbur, because I, I think 
if I didn't do that and release that either in the fall or at market, I think that um, somebody might like put a hit out on me or something. No, I'm kidding. No, <laughs> but people were just like, when are you going to, I kept getting emails and messages. Um, you know, when are you going to come out with, you know, cross stitch for the pig and the goat? And so anyway, that is out getting stitched, which is super cool. And I sent out an angel. Her name is Peacemaker. And she is getting stitched by Matthew Penton. He's from uh, Ohio. Him and his mom stitched for me. They're both beautiful stitchers. So I'm excited about having another angel release in um, Nashville. I would love to have one in the fall and then one in Nashville, but I don't think that's possible. You know, you never know. You never know. It, it may be possible. I did have someone contact me that wants to model stitch um, Speaks with Grace. She is my only um, African-American angel that I have, but she's beautiful. And, um, well, Colleen Cheryl bought that print. So, you know, it's got like a teal background and she's got in a white dress and she's just so cute. Well, um, I had someone contact me and she wants to stitch that. So it's not even charted and it'll be a while before that's ready to be sent out to be stitched. So, but I was, I was, I thought it was awesome. Somebody contacted me and wanted to stitch that. So look for that to come someday. I've missed painting my angels, so it feels good to be working on this tonight. It's so quiet. Thank you. You like the Santa. I know. I like it. He's in the background. Can you see him? There he is. <laughs> He's peeking. Colleen, I got your cow and your sheep all packaged up after dinner. I did that real quick because I didn't want to forget it tomorrow. So that's ready to go. You got the last cow. I'm so glad that um, I thought to go into Etsy and, um, you know, take that off there. Because if it would have sold, we would have had a problem. Because you got the last one, girlfriend. You're welcome. Oh, you're talking about fireworks. Nothing going on there. No plans. 6 p.m. in Idaho. You went to Costco and Michael's. Oh, that's a fun day. I love that. You'll see some from your deck. Yeah, we don't have plans to go anywhere for fireworks. You know, it's funny, like after our kids grew up, I don't know, I just kind of lost my excitement for going to the fireworks. I don't know. Although, you know, when I do go, I flippin' love it. You know what I mean? It's like one of those things, like if I don't go, I'm not like, oh man, I didn't get to see the fireworks. But if I do have the opportunity to go, I just really enjoy it. It's fun.
this is the noisiest chair. I want to get, um, like, Teresa Vanette has them. It's like a, they're like a doctor's stool. So it's, you know, just a round, pat, nice padded top and spins, and then it's on wheels. That's what I need down here. I don't need these chairs with the backs on them. How often do I sit down here and actually lean back? Never, never, never. <laughs> my Facebook still. I'm really glad I have my camera with the front front facing camera because um because otherwise I would not be able to see your comments. Facebook still it's not Facebook, it's I'm sorry, it's my Wi-Fi. It's still giving me fits. It's just so annoying. And I've got that little Wi-Fi mate right down here. I'm going to log into it and see if it'll work, but it hasn't worked for me yet. So I don't know why I'm thinking it might this time. Oh, I forgot the password. Um, ah, I got it written down. I got to go get it. I can't find the password, but I think I remember it. So, um, two, D. Good Lord, that my fight. Oh, my gosh, it's so annoying. See, it says that I'm hooked up to it, but it's not doing jack a lot, guys. Yeah, it, this Wi-Fi made I bought, I mean, if it worked, it, I don't mind paying the money. It was like $159, and then it's 80 bucks a month. But it's not working, so to me, it was overpriced. <laughs> Fifty pieces for ten dollars plus twenty percent off. Oh wait, you got those finishing lace ribbon pom poms. Ah, fifty pieces. Wow. Oh my, that's a great deal. Hi, Vicky. How are you doing tonight? So much easier. Oh, I I can see the live on my. So that StreamYard is showing up on you. Hi, Vicky. Oh, 
You guys can see that? How am I going to get rid of that? I figured that was just a note for me. I didn't know that was covering half of the screen. Seriously. Oh, Vicky, you're stitching an eagle. Oh, I would. I'd love to see it. Hold on. How do I get rid of that stupid thing? You know, I watched a video um, about the StreamYard, the new technology to do this on um, your phone. So after you use it, let us know. Guess what? I have comments. <laughs> ah. Can you guys hear me? I'm like fully back. You can hear me. You can see me. Like we're, we're the, the band's back together again. Oh my gosh. I'm, I can't believe you guys can see the StreamYard banner. That's <laughs> so stupid. Uh, okay, you can hear and see. Okay, so at least I'm back. So now before, at, at the top, I could click on banners and brand and comments. And now I'm clicking on it and nothing is happening. Lord have mercy. I don't want to do that again. Camera. No. More. Layout. No, I don't want that. Oh, dear God. Well, I guess we're just going to have to leave that stupid banner on there. Oh, my gosh. Now I can't get back to you guys. It's got a little X at the top and I'm clicking on it to exit out of what I'm in and it won't work. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to start a new broadcast, okay? I'm sorry, but um, I, maybe the new broadcast won't have that, that banner on it. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't do anything to put that banner on it. I think it was just a message to me. And, okay. I'll be right back. I'm going to create a new broadcast. I'm not sure how, but we'll see.
taken the old one. Can you guys, it looks like I'm back. I know people are dropping like flies now. It's such a crazy. I just want to figure this out. I get rid of it. Can can you guys? I, Daisy. Colleen. I figure that is so crazy <laughs> how funny all right so this is what happened I scrolled all the way back through the comments at what was on the screen you guys were seeing was lit up. So I clicked on it and like held it because so anyway, the, the gang's all, all here. I love it. I'll make sure I can see all these. Right. All is right with the world. All right, guys. Woo! I'm gonna get back. To so I don't even know what we were talking about. It seemed like we were talking about something. So is um so Daisy Vicky. Colleen are you, you th three ladies still here we only have nine we had 12 um I learned something I learned that I don't know much about it. <laughs> it's let me just say this. It's way easier when Kristen starts the broadcast. All I have to do is show up. <laughs> I'm just happy that because it's funny. I messaged um, stream it so you could go live from your television because it was only through a desktop or a desktop. And there goes, you know, a waste of money. They did exactly that, that and they were saying in that video where they were talking about the, you know they made it happen so i'm thrilled
All right, I need a smaller brush for this part. Hi, Diane. How are you? Ah. Squeaky darn chair. Hi, Sue. She says, hi from Texas. Ooh, I bet it's hot down there. It's pretty hot here, so I imagine down there it's really, really hot. Oh, my paint, my brush just rolled in my black paint. Oh, no, you got bad news today, Daisy? That's no good. I don't like bad news. Unfortunately, it's part of life, right? Kristen's here. Woo woo. Hi, sweetie. We miss you, Kristen. But we get it. We know. Now that's so weird. The comments, oh my, this thing never makes sense to me. The comments are showing up quicker on Facebook than they are here on my phone, on the device I'm actually recording with. But then when I go to my computer, I can see the comments quicker, but the video is way far behind. So strange. Oh, Daisy said hubby's results came back. Oh, no. Bad news. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Vicki. I actually tried to start a new stream, and when I opened up StreamYard to start a new stream, it took me back into the one I had already started. <laughs> so I'm like, well, and then I got rid of that little banner. So I'm so sorry, sweetie. You're sitting there waiting. Oh, my gosh. Well, welcome back. I'm glad you made it here. Daisy, I didn't know your husband was ill. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, here comes my air conditioner to just be loud. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did they catch it early? 
because the survival rate for prostate cancer is is really really good. I know that doesn't isn't real, you know, helpful when you first get the news and stuff. But I'm hoping that they caught it early enough. Ah, oh, so sorry. Absolutely. I have a prayer list. I will definitely keep him in my prayers. I'll keep him in my prayers, Daisy, for sure. Mark had that on top of everything, but that part, he was results successful. Okay. Yeah, my dad had prostate cancer. Um, golly, you know, to be honest, I don't even know how old he was, because I'm not good at math. I mean, I could sit here and figure it out. Um, let me think. So, yeah, my dad was, I think my dad was about fifty seven and he got prostate cancer and um they did radiation i think they did surgery and radiation it's terrible i can't remember that um i had a little baby at that time so <laughs> anyways um but he yeah he he had a great recovery and everything and you know so I will be praying that um, they resolve this for him as well. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to what color he had on there. I need to get some shadow colors going here. I'm glad you shared that with us, though, Daisy, because I believe in the power of prayer. So, you know, now you know you've got your friends, you know, praying with you, and it always helps. Yes. Yep. Keep busy. Keep your mind off it. 
it's in the quiet moments that we kind of fall apart, isn't it? All right, I think I'm <laughs> just fussing over this nose on her. I just need to move on. Jeez. Fussing over this nose. You guys, you guys would laugh at me if you saw me, um, um, like doing, you know, pulling floss and trying to make sure the floss is going to work for the, the, des the design and the linen and everything. You seriously would see a woman wanting to pull her hair out. To me, it is the hardest thing about designing. And it's not necessarily the case for some designs, like some designs that they, in some paintings too, just kind of happen. Like, like everything just seems to gel and you, oh, I picked the right, you know, linen color, the, I had all the floss colors I needed, but maybe I'm just getting too fussy or something. I don't know, but I spent, spend so much time pulling floss now for each design and like the Psalm one, the angel one, Daisy, um, there was some subtle variations between these light colors, like on her dress, there's like a little pattern, but I don't want the pattern to be too busy and distracting. So I was trying to make it so that the, um, the floss colors were close together. Anyways, I mean, I struggled and struggled and struggled. And then I thought I had it. I printed everything out, got the floss and linen cut ready to send to out. And then I looked at it again and I'm like, nope. <laughs> I was like, nope, no, I, I don't like that dress color. So I, it was too yellow. So I wanted a little bit more of a gray. It was just, it, I was pulling my hair out. Oh, hold on. There's a comment I missed from Sue. Okay, so Sue, try Cheap Joe's. Cheapjoes.com. Also, Amazon. You might be able to get some of your supplies on Amazon. Um, somebody else told me that they were um that that Dick Blick was out of like the gloss. The gloss varnish, the number four filbert brush, uh, the gra Sorrel graphite paper, which that I know is on Amazon. Um, thank you, Sarah. So I think what I will do, <laughs> she has a cute nose. I wish I could repaint my nose. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, just like straighten it a little bit. And anyways, contour. I know people can do that with makeup, but. I'm not one to spend time on makeup. Yes, the graphite paper I know is on Amazon. And I'm pretty sure, you know, if you check at, there's Jerry's Artorama. That's another one. So write that down. Jerry's Artorama, Cheap Joe's, and Amazon. 
between those three places, I would imagine you could find what you need. <laughs> Colleen, you're too funny. Oh, come on. We're all critical about ourselves, aren't we? <laughs> I am. Anyway. Graphite paper is back ordered on Amazon too. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Okay. I would definitely try Cheap Joe's and Jerry's Art Obama. I've ordered from both of those before, and they're, those are good places, too. Um, the, like the, the, um, the brush, the transfer paper, or the graphite paper are something you're going to want, like you're going to need immediately. The gloss varnish, um, two weeks in, you're going to need that because that's what we do to finish our project. We put gloss varnish over it before we put the crackle um, medium down. So yeah, those three things you're going to need right away. So hopefully you can find them. And you know what, if you can't find that brand of number four filbert, get a, get a number four filbert of a different brand. Just make sure it's for acrylic paint. Um, and then when the other one comes in, you can buy that one. I'm so parched. I'm drinking so much water these days. I know I've been drinking. I used to drink wine or I used to drink uh, whiskey or I used to drink beer while I was doing these, which paint Wednesdays, but it's like, no, I'm doing keto. I'm not drinking. Okay. You hunt them down. I'm so sorry that you have to hunt them down. That's a bummer. Okay. How's the quality? Can, um, so, oh, hi, Betsy. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like her. Uh, so like Colleen and Daisy and Vicki, you guys are usually here every week. Can you tell me if tonight, if the quality of the video is better than last week when I did it by myself? I know when I go live with Kristen, it tends to be better. And um, anyways, I was just wondering, that's why I went through StreamYard instead of just going right through Facebook. So let me know if it's better. Oh, now, wait a minute. So I am live on YouTube because Betsy is commented from YouTube and Laura. Oh, Crystal Light is good for a keto diet. You know what? Have they improved Crystal Light? I haven't had it in probably 20 years. <laughs> um, I didn't like it before, but they might, maybe they make it with Stevia or something now. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. So I have not done the Witch of Paint Wednesday on YouTube yet, only on Facebook. Um, but with StreamYard, I can stream on Facebook and YouTube. So I clicked both. And I thought, why not? Let's check it out. It is better. You still get a lag, but you don't have to go out and come back in. Good deal. Peach mango tea. Ooh, Ooh that sounds good. I'll check it out, Laura. Thank you. Cool. So I, I found a new drink that I like, Laura, but it's really expensive. And so it's like, I'm going to have one a week. <laughs> But it's, it's for me, it's like dessert. It's called Poppy and it's, um, pineapple mango is the one I got, but it's like, I got it on Amazon. So I, the reason I bought it is I saw it on Shark Tank. I absolutely love watching Shark Tank because I just love entrepreneurship and I love just the whole, I love it. And plus you see new companies and I think it's fun. So, um, Poppy, they, all the sharks were going crazy over this stuff, Poppy. It's P-O-P-P-I. And so I'm like, well, if they all love it. It's got to be good. And I know they got a deal. I can't remember. They, I can't remember how they get, who they made the deal with. But anyways, um, I know Shark Tank is so good. So um, I thought, well, I'm going to look for it because it's only 20 calories and five grams of sugar. And that's it. It's made with stevia. 
It's got um, apple cider vinegar in it, so it's good for your, your gut health. And what else? Oh, it's fizzy. You know, it's got carbonation in it, so it's fizzy like a pop. So anyway, I bought it, but it was like $35 for 12 cans. Yikes. We're talking like three bucks a can. You know, and so I, I was talking about it with Ryan and he goes, well, you know, like if you stop in a party store and you get a drink, you know, out of the refrigerated section, you know, he's like, you're going to pay two something at least. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but it's usually bigger than 12 ounces too. <laughs> So yeah, it is expensive, but I'm hoping once the company grows, the price will go down. A lot of times it happens, you know, like, you know, the first microwave, my parents, my parents were the type that would buy the first of everything new. Like if something new came out, someone new electronic, my parents jumped on it and paid premium dollar because they always wanted to have the, the newest thing, you know, um, those ginormous microwaves. <laughs> that took up like half the counter, <laughs> but yeah, but you know, like they're not that expensive now. So hopefully Poppy will come down in price too. Hey Carol, welcome. Tuning in a bit late. Well, no worries because the first, what, 20 minutes, it was a hot mess. I was in and out because I was pressing buttons, trying to get rid of this big banner that was covering up my screen. And anyways, you didn't miss a whole lot. I basically just been working on her face a little bit. Um, I was going to work a little bit faster, but I'm visiting a lot tonight, which is to me the most fun about Witch Paint Wednesday. So anyways, thanks for being here. Welcome everyone. All right. Huh. Oh, I think I'm going to change her dress. I'm not digging this collar. I'm just not digging it at all. So I'm going to get raw sienna. Oh, I had some out and I didn't even see it on my palette. Hi, Carrie. Welcome. Thank you. She's got kinky hair. Kristen, are you still on here, hon? I think her, her arm's coming out quite a bit. A little bit too far there. I got changes to make on this chick. <laughs> I should call her a chick. She's an angel. Yeah, Colleen, I, I saw Kristen earlier. Yeah, she, um, I saw that she joined, but she never commented. So, you know, with her husband just getting back from the hospital, she's probably busy tending to him and stuff. So. Um, she might just be in and out as much as she can. So this needs to come up. So this is not right. When I paint, I get real quiet. I tried to bring my dog down this time. The last couple of weeks, she hasn't been down here with me. 
and I she came running out the door and her and I were heading down here and it dawned on me I didn't feed her yet so I took her back in the house so that Kevin could feed her and he's like well I'll let her out she'll come down there but I don't, she hasn't been at the door so I don't think he's let her out at least I hope he hasn't because I don't I haven't seen her okay so I need to find the red where's that little I had a little right here this little box hey did you guys see my floss tube so you know I was talking about being on keto and how many avocados do you guys eat I eat at least one maybe two avocados a day is that like your favorite food well, it's one of my favorite foods. So I bought this avocado change purse. Is that the best thing on the planet? Can you guys believe it? I love it. This just came in a few days. No, like Monday, I think I got it. Yeah, Monday. It's a little coin purse. But it looks it looks so real. It's it's unbelievable. I fooled my husband with it. I was acting like I was going to, I'm like, oh, this avocado, let's eat this avocado. And I was down here at the studio, which I don't normally bring food down here. So <laughs> isn't it cool? I love it. Can you imagine like being at a store and you get an, you take an avocado out of your purse? People will be like, what? <laughs> I know, Betsy. It looks so, it looks real. And I bought two of them. So if Kristen's not on here, because she loves avocados too. So I had to get two of them. And she's getting one, whether she wants one or not. <laughs> Even just as a, a gag gift. But I'm going to use mine. I, you know what's funny? I The purse I have is too small. If that if I put that in my purse, it's going to take up most of my purse. So I'm seriously going to get a bigger purse just so I can use my avocado um, coin purse. <laughs> okay. I don't know what color I used for her dress, but I guess it doesn't matter. I can change it. I'm getting rid of the whoop de doos on her dress. And I got to fix her shoulder like... Like her, her neck comes down here and then it bumps up and goes out. So we'll see what happens. So, oh, okay. Hide or embed this. What does that mean? Oh, no, I don't want that. So are you guys seeing captions down below? Because on my screen, on my laptop, it shows captions, like everything I'm saying. <laughs> That's kind of weird. I didn't know I pressed any button to do that. Are these the same colors I'm putting on? What is that one? Autumn leaves, and this one is that uh, it's the same color, they, but the label's different, and one looks lighter than the other, but it's the same color. It's just, they're both autumn leaves, so I guess I don't need to get some out of both. I need a bigger brush, too. I had a bigger brush out earlier. Oh, that's right. I was going to put the crackle on that other painting. I need to do that. I'll do that in a second. I'm just going to put a coat of this on and then that can dry. Looks like there's flowers. Oh, that's right. Cause I drew flowers on. I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot all about that. You guys remember that I drew white flowers on her. She had like a red dress on and then I drew the right white flowers on. I could kind of see them through the, the paint. And I'm like, what the heck's that?
I love this color. It's not like super orange. I'll probably end up mixing some red with it. Hi, Sherry. You know, I have so many angels, angel paintings that I'd love to see done in cross stitch, but they are so intense to chart. Oh my gosh. It takes, oh, I can't even tell you how many hours it's, it's crazy. And, and then that's not even the hardest part. The hardest part is actually, um, pulling the floss because what, shows on the computer. I would love to find a computer program for cross stitch, um, for charting cross stitch that when it chooses colors, it actually is like when you go to pull the floss, the floss is actually the color you need because it, the program I use, that's not the case at all. And so it just takes forever to yeah, I got this gray background, which is now not going to work here. I'm just going to have to do something different, I think, with the wings. They look furry anyways. But yeah, um, I just sent an angel out actually to be stitched. So there will be a new angel coming out. I have a Madonna and child that I have already charted. I'm just, I just have to find someone to stitch it. But not everyone's willing to do, you know, full coverage. And I mean, they're really confetti stitching. They're really intense stitches. So, all right, I'm going to grab that other painting and I'm going to put the, um, the uh, crackle on it. So hold on one second. Okay, so this is the one I've been working on the last few weeks, remember? Well, I know you remember because you guys have been with me <laughs> for the whole thing pretty much. I love how this turned out. Um, today I, I sanded it. I painted the sides white because it was just the wood color. So I painted the sides white and kind of just dry brushed it so it looks old. But can you see the sanding around the edges and stuff? How good it turned out. Ugh. It's hard to get it. So anyway, the sanding turned out awesome. I wasn't going to sand it, but then I changed my mind because I thought it looked funny with some of the paint missing here in you know a couple spots and not all over. So that's why I went ahead and sanded it. Um, I can't really put that crackle on with it laying or st standing up like that. So um, I have to get a bigger brush too. I'll be right back. I might be able to set it on my lap and then move the camera down. Um, I don't know. Let's try it anyways. Ooh. You ready to go on a ride, guys? Hey, that actually works. Ha ha ha! And it's kind of the right side up. Yeah, it is. Okay. Cool. Oh, I just got a notification from Snapchat. Bree sent me something. Bree Anna is hilarious when she sends her Snapchats of the kids of the grandkids. Oh my gosh. I'm in stitches. I mean, it's just, she's so, she's such a funny mom. Well, the, I mean, the grandkids are hilarious too, but the stuff that Brianna says on the Snapchat about the kids when they're doing stuff, it's so funny. 
Okay. Now I have to change my light too because I have to have the light shining on this so that I can see. I'm sorry, you're going to look at the top of my head here for a minute. Okay, this is going to be really bright for a minute, but I have to see um, where I'm going with this crackle medium to make sure I cover it all. Because with crackle medium, you can't just like put it in the middle and then just work it and work it and work it. It starts to set up pretty quick. So I usually do it in sections. So I'm going to start over here and I want to make sure I cover it all. That's why I have the light shining on it. So I can see from the glare where I put it on and where I haven't. So it starts to set up pretty quick. So I need to kind of lean it. Well, there we go. So with crackle, the thicker you put it on, the less crackles, but the, the deeper they'll be. Like they'll split further, so they'll be bigger. You'll get less, but they'll be bigger. And then the thinner you put it on, you'll get a bunch of tiny little crackles. So I like to have areas of thick and thin. You guys, I don't know, you probably have heard me say this stuff a million times. But for people that have never seen me put the crackle on before, I just thought I would explain to you what I'm doing. This stuff is so strong. Oh, it stinks. But it works. Now, I am not going to say 100% that it's going to work on this particular painting, and I'll tell you why. Because it's on... A piece of wood and this wood is very soft it tends to crackle better on a harder surface like that's why I like to paint on um, cradled board I mean it will work on stretched canvas I mean I've done that plenty of times too and it works on that but um, I don't know I don't know if I've used this on I'm sure I've used it on antique wood before all right so I have too much and so what I'm going to do is take the top off and then I just kind of put it back in there. Waste not, want not. All right, I got to kind of hold it in the light to make sure I covered it all. Oh, I see a spot I did not cover. So I just use, I keep tilting it and holding it like so I can see the glare of the light and then I can see if I missed a spot. Hmm. I think I got it all. Yep. Okay. The crackle is done. Yay. Now say a little prayer that the crackle does its magic. <laughs> oh, I see there's lots of comments. I'm going to go set this down. I got to wash that brush real quick and then I'll be back on the angel. All right. Stay tuned. raise this back up. Now it's super washed out, but I got to turn that light back down too.
Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be right back. <laughs> We're back in business. How many people do we have on? So we have 18. Wow, nice. So I'm curious. I wish I knew like how many were here from um from YouTube and from Facebook. Let me go back at the comments. I see you guys were talking. I just I want to be in the loop, you know. <laughs> oh, thank you, Vicki. I have to go play ping pong with my grandson. I last about 10 minutes. Seems I chase the ding ball more than anything. Oh my gosh, Colleen, have fun. Yeah, my husband and I used to have like major ping pong wars when we went on our, our anniversary when we went on our honeymoon we went to the pocono islands the pocono islands seriously the pocono mountains <laughs> the anyways they have resorts and stuff and um the one we went to like the, there was a, so many activities and things you could do and we played ping pong like crazy and i'm very competitive i'm super super competitive i don't like to lose but all right. So, and Sherry said, Teresa, I hope you still have your online painting class next year. If you do, I'm signing up for it. I will, it will be my reward for passing my, your WOCN board boards test. Oh yeah. I mean, I plan on continuing CW live as long as I possibly can. Yep. Yeah, Colleen, I hope she comes back. I have never used Crackle, but I want to learn. Yeah, um, I teach that in the class. Shoot, I lost where I was. Anyone else doing Jolly July? I am just still new. Oh my gosh, I need better. I, I'm going to the eye doctor, guys, next week. And I need to so bad. I can't read this. I'm trying to get things finished. I'm trying to get, okay. <laughs> we have a few for Jolly July. There's 13 here from Facebook. Thank you, Vicki. Oops, now 11. <laughs> Sherry's from YouTube. 12. You're working on last year's Mill Hill. I wish I wish I could see you guys and you guys could show me what you're working on. I would love that. Okay, so my chair is so squeaky. We had a ping pong table. Well, when I was growing up, we had a pool table and my dad was a whiz at playing pool. I mean, he was just so good. So I grew up playing pool and so I'm pretty darn good at it. I mean, I'm not awesome and I don't play it now. So I don't know how I would be now, but I'm pretty good at like lining things up and um, oh, what do you want to, how do you want to, how do I want to say that? Like I can, I'm a good judge of how hard 
to hit something to make it go where I need it to go. Just basically what pool is all about. And I'm pretty good at lining things up and shooting straight. So anyway, I was kind of a natural when it came to playing pool. Um, and I did not want a pool table though at our house because they just take up so much room. Where a ping, we got a ping pong table that it folded up and we could, it was on wheels and this, you'd fold it up in the center, had wheels and you could roll it out of the way. So anyway, we played ping pong a lot and it's good exercise. Even if you're not running after the ball, which that's half of the game, isn't it? Is running after the ball. Um, but I mean, just playing the game itself. I mean, you're moving around and I'd work up a sweat. I miss, I, it's like, I miss having one. I miss having a ping pong table, but yet I don't. Cause even though it rolled out of the way, it still was this ginormous thing in my basement. And I just, we end up getting rid of it. If my basement was bigger and I could have like a game room, oh, I would totally have a pool table and a ping pong table. <laughs> I like both. Oh, we had an air hockey table. I mean, when our kids were young, it was like, you know, the basement was their area to play in. So, yeah, that, I forgot we had the air hockey table, too. Foosball, air hockey, and ping pong. So we had, it was just game city down there. Oh, that looks so much better. I like that so much better than that, that collar. I just didn't like that. It looked too. Um, it looked too little house in the prairie for an angel. Does that, does that even make sense? Here comes the air conditioner again. It's going to get really loud in here. Right? Photo comments. Can you up? You probably can. Terry, looking forward to the land that I love. Thank you. Yeah, I have that that sampler hanging down here. My bathroom down here at the studio is red, white, and blue. And um, I mean, we don't we don't use the shower down here, so I'm not worried about it getting you know too humid in there or something. So I have it hanging in there. I'd love to hang it in my studio. I just have no wall space. I have nowhere to hang it. Um, I was going to hang it at the house, but maybe when we get our, our basement all finished and I, if I have room down there, I can hang it down there because down here at the studio and the bathroom, no one's really going to see it, but it's, it, I love it. I love it so much. I, it's, I wish I could say I stitched it, but I didn't. How rewarding it must be to finish a piece like that, you know, something that size. You had air hockey. Air hockey's fun too. Until you play that person that all they do is put their put their um is it a puck? No, not the puck. The thing you hang on to. Anyways, they put it right in front of the little goalie thing and like never hit it back. They just put it there and you're hitting it off theirs all the time. Uh, 
foosball. Now that was a game I really liked too. That was really hard and it was strategic, you know, it was, I, we have a friend that can play it really, really well. And to watch somebody that can play it really well, it's actually incredible if you get good at it. I was never that good at it, so. But I enjoyed watching people that were good at it. Oh, I don't like that color. You're happy it's gone. I know. Those things take up a lot of room, don't they? What we do for the kiddos, right? Anything to keep them occupied and out of our hair. <laughs> I miss the kids being little. I mean, I... There's, I mean, there's obviously things about the kids being little, not little, but like school age that I don't miss. I don't miss the worrying about their schoolwork or who they're going to meet in school and all that. I don't miss that part, but I miss the carefree summer days um, of doing, because you were always together when your kids are little, you're with them all the time. And we would have like Sundays we would spend down here right outside my studio is a pond and it used to have big like bass and stuff in it. Um, we had huge catfish. I'm talking like catfish, like that big. Can you see that? Big? Um, anyways, uh, we had a, our pond doesn't get, stay as full as it used to. That's a long story. But anyways, it got really low one year and then we had a really harsh, harsh winter and it killed all the big fish. So we do have fish in there, um, but the kids, like Ryan would come home from school and he was in like, I don't know, I want to say maybe fourth grade, fifth grade, maybe even younger, but he would come home from school. He would come down here with the dogs and he would stand on the shore and he would fish and he would get a huge bass and I could hear him yell and I'd run out there with my camera because I'd be in the studio working, but I can see him. And um, I take pictures of them holding the bass. And, but we, we would spend Sundays down here. We would cook out. We take the we had a grill down here. I have a full kitchen in my studio, so I'd come in here and do the veggie, and we'd grill out. And I mean, it was just heaven on earth. I loved it. So I missed that part of the kids being little, all the fun stuff we had, all the fun stuff we did together. I know. I know. Any spoilers? So when is the next cross stitch release? Okay, my next one's gonna be in the fall. It'll be probably October. And the reason I say that is because September 24th is our anniversary. And we like to go away for a long weekend to Traverse City. If I have a release in September, it takes over my, like it takes over like three weeks to a month of my life and his, you know, stuffing patterns, getting ready for it, shipping the orders and all that. So I'd rather wait and do it in October when I know I don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> I, I have some, I have new stuff. Um, I showed, I showed, let me see, I'm trying to think what I haven't shown. I have one, I think that I haven't shown yet. Um, which paint Wednesday, I'm going to go get it. And the person that stitched it was Claire from Claire Stitching Post. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to go get that. I'll show it to you. Okay, so this, this is from a watercolor painting that I did, I'm going to say, like, 
oh, I would say 18 years ago or so. Oh, there's a piece of lint on it. I was trying to get off before I show it to you. I'm so afraid I'm going to get paint on it, though. I would just die if I got paint on this. Ah, I got it off. Okay, are you ready? It's called Rise and Shine. And I absolutely adore it. Look how cute. Is it showing backwards for you guys? I'm curious. But the cow and the chicken and the pig and the sheep and the barn and then the ginormous rooster. And there's actually purple in there. I never use purple. I'm not a big purple person. But it just works for this. In the original painting, there's like teals and greens and purples and all that. So... So it's not backwards. So that's another cool thing about StreamYard because normally, like on Facebook, if you use your front-facing camera, everything's backwards. It looks like I'm painting left-handed. So thank you, Sue. Thanks, Siobhan. Thanks, Daisy. I know. I love it. I love the soft colors of it. It's just, it's really different. So... And it's, I think it's super cool too, because Claire, uh, being that she's a shop owner and she wanted to stitch something for me, I thought that was super cool. And she also turned me on to, uh, Tina and, uh, Matthew Penton. It's a son and mother and they both stitched for me. And, um, he has stitched, he stitched Fox and friend. He stitched. What else did he stitch for me? Oh, I can't think off the top of my head. And then she stitched um, Newcastle Bouquet. Yeah. And I just sent him an angel to stitch. Oh, she stitched an angel for me too. I can't remember which angel it was. I don't know. But anyway. Um, oh, she, I know. She stitched... Um, outstretched arms the the angel that's in the star shape yeah she stitched that one and so her son wanted to stitch an angel because his mother stitched an angel so i sent him peacemaker just this week and then i sent her a number another sampler so oh and then also karen simmons um claire so claire you know she's like i have three people here that love your work and they're just dying to stitch for you here's their information so you know like three of my top stitchers came from Claire, you know, introducing me to them. And that's one of the reasons too, I'm going on um, July 24th. It's a Friday. I'm going to Vermilion, Ohio to Claire stitching post for the afternoon. And I I've met Karen Simmons. I met her a couple times. Uh, she stitched good tidings or glad tidings. No, good tidings. The Santa, and the snowman, it's a full coverage piece, confetti stitching. Um, she stitched bell snickles. She, I know she stitched more than that. I can't think of everything. But anyways, um, so yeah, that was pretty cool. You love the rooster. Th thank you, Betsy. Okay, I need to get this angel. What time is it? Oh, it's only 930. I think I'll go till 10 tonight. Um. I, I wish I would have put her over a bit. She's so far over to this side, you really don't even see her other wing. I probably should just make that the background because it kind of looks silly. Don't you think it looks silly? Should I put a halo on her? What do you guys think? If I put a halo on her, it will kind of come down like this. I don't know. I don't know that it needs a halo. I'm getting rid of this wing over here, though. I wonder if Colleen won in the ping pong game. <laughs> yes, Vicky. Oh my gosh. I'm so impressed. Yes, he did. He stitched star quilt. That was the first thing he stitched for me. I think he stitched that when his mom stitched that angel. Yeah, that's right. 
And then after that, she did Newcastle Bouquet and he did um, Fox and Friend. Wow, I'm so impressed that you remember that. I couldn't even remember that. You love it without the halo? Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of room to show the halo either. And if I did, it would just get all kind of choppy. So good call, Yvonne. Thank you. Okay. Focus. I'm trying to remember what colors I use in the background. I think I'm just going to change the, the background that way. I don't have to worry about it. I need that big brush again, though. All right. So there's like some yellows in there. Looks like I got purple in there, which I just don't use purple much, but. Like a pinkyish, purplish? I don't know what I was doing. Not liking that at all. Man, I got some red in there. It's... it's fun to change the background because it changes the look of the painting so much. I love doing that. It's because I'm a regular on Train Wednesday, right? <laughs> I'm so glad. I like it, you know, because I look forward to visiting with you guys each week, you know. And um, so the more the more often you can get on here and visit, the more like conversations we can have and get to know each other and stuff. And I just think it's so much fun. I really enjoy it. That's kind of an interesting color. The wings are still bugging me though. Thank you. I think that it kind of looks like a sunset. Can you see a little sunset there? Um, Paint just, ah, <gasps> you guys, look, can you see that? Paint just went flying on my antique. That white paint I was just using, ah, I got to get it before it dries. I don't even know if you can see what I'm wiping up, but yeah, can you believe that? <laughs> ah, that stinks. I'm glad I saw that though, and it didn't dry overnight. I would have been really upset. Well, I guess I need to raise that up now.
I'm just playing around with the wings. I don't know. I just really wasn't crazy about the way they looked. Um, so I'm just going in and playing. I had another painting I was going to start tonight. I really didn't plan on doing this much work on this angel painting tonight. But um, I really think she, this needs to get done. She's been sitting in the background watching me film floss tube for probably two months. And I'm sure she's been saying, hey, did you forget about me? Can you please finish me? So that's what I'm doing. Hey, Danette, how are you tonight? Be sure to tell Kristen that we miss her. Exactly. Yes, Vicki, I know. I miss her too. Thank you, Danette. Hopefully um, next week, Kristen will be back and we'll um, get back to normal. I know she's looking forward to getting back to normal. She's been at the hospital, you know, she's kind of going stir crazy. You know, she's a busy person. I'm busy too. And I can't sit like when I'm, when I'm like super sick and I have the flu and I don't have the energy to do anything. And I, it's like, you've, I've slept so much. I can't sleep anymore. I'm so sick and weak that I can't get up and do stuff, but I'm like stir crazy. Like I want so bad to get up and do something. Um, I don't know. I guess that's the downfall of being someone that just doesn't know how to relax. Like I can't just go up to the house after work. I like, I can't make dinner and then just go and sit and watch TV. I have to be doing something. I'm either on my laptop designing something. I'm doing punch needle. I'm always doing something, but that's just, that's just how I am. And Kristen's like that too. So, um, we're just not good at sitting around, <laughs> but you do what you got to do, you know? Plus at the hospital, it's not like you can get any rest. You know, the nurses have to come in and, and check and check on the patient and all that jazz and, you know, and you're just not comfortable. And so she's probably exhausted. I'm sure they're both exhausted. It's my one winged angel. <laughs> yeah. Stitching. Right. I think that's, um, I think that's something that I hear a lot of stitchers say, I mean, I don't stitch, but I can do punch needle or something like that. Um, that it just, at the end of the day, it just calms them down and relaxes them. Um, if I sit down now, there's nights where I need to stuff patterns, but stuffing patterns, I want, I, I'm nodding off doing it. Like I get really tired because it's just, it's just like, you're like a machine. You're not really thinking, you know, you have all your papers laid out and you're just stuffing them and putting the patterns together. And I don't know, I guess it depends on what I'm doing while I'm sitting too, as, as to, as I'm, if I'm going to wait, stay awake or not, or I don't know. I'm just mumbling now, guys. I 
I guess because when I'm when I'm on the computer designing something or if I'm doing punch needle while I'm sitting and have the TV on or whatever, um, I'm excited about what I'm doing. I'm Whenever I'm creating something, I could stay up till midnight. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Crochet and knitting. My mom used to do crochet. She never did knitting. I took a knitting class with one of my friends because she wanted to learn how to knit so she could um, use wool and, and knit bags and then put them in the dryer or like wash them and put them in the dryer and felt them. And she makes, actually, I think I have one right here. I should show it to you. Let me grab it. So my friend and I, we would drive like 45 minutes. I think it was a couple times a week. We took this class to learn how to knit. And um, like she never wanted to learn how to like knit two, pearl one, whatever, like to make socks and to make, you know, afghans and stuff like that. She just wanted to learn how to make a bag so a bag is basically you just knit something super long and rectangular and then you fold it in half and stitch the sides up and then she would felt it in the washer and dryer or maybe it was just in the washer that's right i don't think she dried it she laid them flat to dry that's right it was the washing machine that would felt it anywho um she, and then she would um do like needle is it needle what's it called needle felting um designs on the bags and she would sell them and she did she sold really well she she made good you know money doing it she just it got to the point where she just didn't have time to do it anymore um hopefully someday she'll get back into it because she's really good at it i'm going to grab mine here in a second and show it to you i'm just trying to fix her hair That looks better. She looks like she has dreads. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh no, I moved it when I cleaned my studio out. Oh. You know what? I think I took it up to the house. Well, Doggone it. I might have to, when I, when I locate it, let me turn this back this way a little bit. When I find that felted bag she made me, I will um, show it to you guys. Oh, maybe it's over here. One, I have one more spot to look. Hold on. Dang it. No, I didn't find it. I think what I did is I think I took it um, up to the house and hung it in the closet so it wouldn't get dusty and stuff. But anyway, I'll try to remember to show it to you guys. Thank you. I'll give you a little close-up. I don't think I'll ever give you a close-up of her. That light's blowing it out. Let me turn that light off or down at least. I can see her a little bit better. I didn't really do much with her dress. But I'll probably put some more detail in her wings. Or her wing. Poor thing only has one wing. How's she going to fly? But I think her face is pretty. It should turn out nice. All right. 
I wonder how that crackle's coming along on that other painting. I'm going to go look real quick. Probably hasn't dried long enough. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's dry enough. I think there's going to be more crackles, but oh my gosh, I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to see this. Hold on. Let me turn this light down a little bit. That might be too dark now. I don't know. Are you going to be able to see the crackles? Can you see it? Well, anyways, it's coming out great. And um, so when it, so tomorrow I will be putting the, in the raw umber paint over it so that the crackles show up better. And then I'll take pictures and post it. So you'll be able to see it tomorrow. She looks like you, you now that I've lightened up. <laughs> Really? <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Hi, Colleen. Glad you're here. Oh, you could see the crackles? Oh, cool. Um, Oh, that's too funny. Colleen, I didn't even know that you asked that. Um, she, Colleen asked, she said, I'm just coming in. Teresa, did you finish the piece you have been working on? So, um, Colleen, were you here when I just showed it? I just held it up to show the crackles. Yeah, I sanded it. I put the crackle, uh, the gloss on and then the crackle on tonight. So, it's tomorrow it will be done. And then this is one I worked on in on Watch Your Paint Wednesday. It was quite a while ago. So I'm finishing her up. God, there's a big. She has a sty on her eye. <laughs> I can hear my hubby. He's next door. I should tell him to come say hi. That is funny that you asked about it and I was showing it. <laughs> Thanks, Colleen. Colleen, am I saying your name right? I've never seen Colleen spelled that way, so that's why I'm wondering if I'm saying it right. Hi, Phyllis Lundy. How are you tonight? So Phyllis is with us from YouTube. Okay, good deal. I always worry about saying people's names wrong. All right. I want to play with these wings a little bit.
I'm just wanting to kind of subtly make them look like feathers, but not like before they looked kind of furry. So I'm just kind of making it more subtle. You were named after your mom's friend who was a rocket. Oh, that's so cool. I'm not sure on the spelling. That is so cool. I love that. Hi Kim. You're you're on. Say hi. You're right there. Oh, they can't see you. Just waist down. <laughs> you gotta get down lower. <laughs> There's Calvin. Hey, what's your painting? And Tingle. Hi, Boo Boo. You still had orders to fill? No, I forgot to bring one. Oh. See all those covers I printed for you? Yeah. <laughs> That's just stuff to build more inventory because I, you know what's going to happen. What? <laughs> what's going to happen? Well, you know, there's usually a second wave. Just trying to be prepared. We need to go through and like the punch, some of the punch needle is just out. Huh? Time to build stock. Ah, Kristen's back on. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Kristen. Oh, hi, Kim. I didn't see you join. Um, Kevin said hi. I know I am painting long tonight. I'm going to quit at 10. I didn't plan on working so much on this angel. I was just going to do a little bit on her, but I don't know. Hard to know when to quit. Well, basically I don't quit till I like it. So.
So, Kevin, I'm live on YouTube and Facebook tonight. Congratulations. I see you. I, I can see it on your computer. Here. Um, on YouTube? Yeah. Oh, cool, because I'm only watching it on Facebook. I, mean, I see a tab for it. So, because StreamYard, remember I told you you could only stream from a laptop or a desktop? Right. But um, I got it email from them last week's and that was the biggest thing people asked them is when are you gonna and I, I emailed them too and asked them if they were ever gonna you know make it so you could go live from your phone. So they worked on it and they got it to work and that's what we're doing. How about that? Somehow my reception seems to be better through StreamYard too than just going through Facebook. So huh. Don't ask. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want me to? I don't know if I should try to look at it on this computer or not because it, it's struggling just to print me a chart. Um, well, I'm watching. I mean, I'm using the Wi Fi to watch on the laptop. All right, so yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> Kristen, I figured that's what happened. Oh, okay. Say prayers that he has a good night. You both need some good rest. Um, well, just being at home in his own bed, I'm sure he'll get more rest than he did at the hospital. Oh, this chair is so squeaky. Creaky. Isn't it terrible? We got a lot of chairs to pick from. They do that. They all do it. I want to get, I was telling them, I want to get a, um, you know, like the doctors use? They don't, like for here at least, they don't have a back on it. They're on wheels, they turn. A stool. Yeah, it's like a medical stool or something, I don't know what you call it. Yay! So Ralph got to go home today. Good for him. Yeah. So Ralph's at Ben, uh, he's been in there for a couple of days, hasn't he? Yeah. Last, well, last week? Um, oh God, I'm so bad with this. Um. Wednesday. is a week. Yeah, it was a week. A week ago, yeah. Yeah, it was a week. I just wanted to say Tuesday, but I remember now it was Wednesday. Oh my gosh. Yes, Kristen. Kristen said he lost 20 pounds and she said and she gained 20 pounds. I doubt you gained 20 pounds, Kristen. Um, Daisy is asking, do I have any 12 by 12 prints? Of of which which design or which painting are you asking about? Um, I can make, I mean, any of my square paintings I've done, I can make them into a 12 by 12. I mean, even a rectangle painting, I could obviously, like this is square, but this is, I think this is a 1616. 
Um, but it's some of my rectangle paintings, I can crop them to make it 12 by 12. So just let me know what you're looking for. I know when I was at the doctor's office, um, and I, they weighed me, this was a week ago, Monday and the nurse, the nurse's assistant, oh wait, she, she weighed me. And I, when I said, how much was it? She told me, I said, Oh my gosh. And she goes, she goes, well, with the times were at least you have an excuse. And I said, yeah, I call it the COVID-19 pounds. Uh -huh. <laughs> I haven't gained 19 pounds, but I certainly could lose 19 pounds. All right. Colleen said, good night, Teresa. I hope you have a great fourth and I hope to join you earlier next week. Have an awesome week. Good night, Colleen. Thanks for being here. Have a great weekend. Happy fourth. Happy birthday, America. Oh, it's after 10. I swear I just looked and it was 930. What happened? Time flies when you're having fun. All right. I think I'm going to sign off. It's like 10 after 10. So um, thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone, for being here. I so appreciate it. I'm so excited that StreamYard, I can use it now and go live on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. So join us next week. Kristen will be back. Right, Kristen? <laughs> and um, have a nice and safe weekend, everyone. Bye.